Well, Australia and its AUKUS partners, the US and UK, are considering including Japan in their defence partnership. For more, our political reporter Evelyn Manfield joins us now from Parliament House. Evelyn, good morning. Uh, there's been a fair bit of speculation about this, of Japan taking more of a role in AUKUS, but at the end of the day, it's not really going to be Jorkus, as some have nicknamed it. I did wonder that because obviously the AUKUS letters standing for the three countries, but no, it doesn't sound like Jorkus would be a name change. I don't think this is a statement from the defence ministers of Australia and the UK and the US. They've released this joint statement saying that they're considering Japan joining Pillar 2 of AUKUS. And don't worry, I'll explain what Pillar 2 is a little bit later. But um, it had the statement has stopped short of formally making this announcement of including Japan. So, but it is worth noting that when they do talk about partners that they're considering, Japan is the only one named in this statement and that the Prime Minister of Japan is heading to Washington a little later this week to meet with US President Joe Biden. Now, this does follow speculation, as you mentioned there, Lisa. US officials have been talking about this. America's ambassador to Tokyo even writing in the Wall Street Journal about this last week as well. Now, uh, this statement, I'll read a bit of it for you. The three countries say that they're seeking to maximise strategic benefits of the AUKUS partnership to support security and stability in the Indo-Pacific region and beyond. They say that they'd always intended to include partners in Pillar 2. Now, Pillar 1 is the building and buying of nuclear-powered submarines and Pillar 2 is talking about advanced capabilities and they reference technology. So talking about things things like AI and electronic warfare as well. So as you mentioned, this is a consideration at this stage, but we will hear a bit more about this. Um, we can definitely expect later in the week when Japan's Prime Minister meets with the US President. No surprises that it's likely to prompt concerns from China. Uh, is anything being said already about this uh, partnership or proposed partnership? Yes, so China's foreign ministry has reportedly told the South China Morning Post that it is gravely concerned about the prospect of Japan joining this partnership. It says that it could intensify the arms race in the Indo Pacific and potentially disrupt regional peace and stability. So that's what the Chinese foreign ministry has reportedly told a newspaper there.